Elise Pickett here with the Urban Harvest and we're going to go through real quick how to harvest and save your lettuce seed for next season. already put out a video that talks about the process of bolting and how that all occurs. Uh, if you click that little button right up there, it'll take you to that video next. But in the meantime, right now, I'm just going to show you how to save and harvest the seed. You can see here we have some tat soy that has bolted and it's not quite ready yet to uh, harvest the seed. You can see the pods have formed, the flowers are all gone but the pods are still green. They're not ready to harvest yet. On the other hand, the ones right in front of me are all dry and brown. And if you shake it, you can actually hear the seeds rattling around inside. These guys are ready to harvest and save. There's several different ways to approach this, but the gist of it is taking the seeds in the pods and getting them into a container to save for the following year. I have a plastic bag that I had around the garden, so I'm going to be able to use that. Some people like to use pillowcases or brown paper bags. All of that works just fine. When you're ready to harvest, you're just going to pull the plant out from the bed, and then you're going to go ahead and place the seeds into the bag or pillowcase or whatever else you're using, and you can kind of just crush it and the seeds and the chafe, which is the husk of the seed pod, will come off. That's okay, you can sort it out later, but you're just basically gonna crunch that until all of the seeds are out, and that's all there is to it. You now have the chafe, which is the seed pods, but you also have all of the tat soy seeds. The seeds are much heavier than the chafe or the seed pod, the brown dry part. So if you kind of treat it like popcorn, you know where the kernels settle to the bottom, you kind of give it a little toss or two, it'll bring all of the chafe, which is the part that you don't need anymore, to the surface. You can just pull that off with your hands and then you're left with the seeds to save for next season. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and while you're down there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button with a little bell next to it so you can get more fun tips, tricks, and tutorials like this one every time they come out weekly.